What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're creating a sketch illustration of Poe from Kung Fu Panda 4. For today's lesson we'll be sketching with this 0.7mm mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Now let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So we'll start from the very top. We're just going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now let's move to the center, draw another line going across from left to right. Now you want to use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of a page. So let's start from that center point, move up towards the top, mark off the top of our circle. Now we're going to measure that distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the center over toward the left and then the right. Now we're going to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. So let's start with the top left. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We want to get the right size and placement in the center of our page. You can always go back and just smooth this out. Now moving out to the side of our circle, let's draw another line coming straight down the side. And we'll add another line across the bottom of our circle. Now we're going to be placing the hat on top of the head. So from the left side of our circle, let's step out to right about here. It's going to mark this off. Let's measure that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now I want to connect these two marks with a curve that goes slightly up in the middle. And then we'll bend that back down. From the ends, draw two straight angle lines going up and then in. They're the same length. And we'll connect the ends again with that slight curve going up and then down. Now let's go up to the top of our circle. It's going to curve the hat. We're going to come down and then bend that out towards the side. And do the same thing on the right, coming down and then bending that out. Let's take out that sharp point, just curving that around. And then we want to wrap the hat around the head. So let's start from this bottom point, bend this down and then in. Let's go out to the side of the head. We're going to bend the neck, coming down and then out towards the side. Now from the center point, we're going to lightly sketch out an oval for the muzzle. Let's start with the left side, going all the way around towards the bottom, just up above the bottom of our circle. Go up on the right side. I'm just using this as a guide. Now we're going to leave a gap in between the eyes. So from that center line, let's move over toward the left. Sketch the line coming down towards the muzzle. Do the same thing on the right. Now from this point, we're going to step up, curve the eye, coming down, and then up, do the same thing on the right. Let's round this out, come around the side of the head, and I'm just going to pull that back up towards the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right, coming all the way around, and rounding out the side. And let's go back up to the top, we're going to sketch an oval for the eye, going all the way around, and then back up. And then along the top, let's draw a circle for the iris. Let's pull them in toward the inside of the eye. Now, along the top of our oval, let's step down and add a curve for the nose. We're going to come down and then up. On the ends, I'm just going to round this out. Bend this down and then back in towards the middle. Now, I want to shift the mouth up over on the left side. So we're going to start from the side, curve this down and just pull that out towards the right side. Now that we've established the basic proportions, we're going to go back and lightly clean this up by erasing these guidelines. Now that we have a fairly clean rough sketch, we're going to go back and lightly add some more detail and refine the shape. Now I'd like to start with the eyes. We start with the inside edge of the brow. Go back and just modify the shape. And we're going to add a little bit more shape to the eyes. So we're just going to round up the eyelid, just tucking that up underneath. I'm just going to round up the bottom of the eye and pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Start with the outside. Now I'm just going to offset the shape a little bit. We're just going to go a little bit bigger. And just tuck that eye underneath. 
And again, just going a little bit bigger with this eye. So we'll position the iris. We'll add the pupils and just lightly shade those in. Now adding some more shade to the nose. We'll start with the top and then just work our way around towards the nostrils. We'll add those slits along the side and just pull this down in the middle towards a point. I'm just going to enhance the chin across the bottom. Now just adding a little bit more shape to the outside of the head. Also adding a little bit of a fur texture across the bottom edge. And I'm just going to add the cape across the neck. So we're going to start on the left side. I'm just going to bend this down and then up in the middle. Come down and then out towards the right. And I'm just going to add that rope going out underneath the hat on the left and right side. Now along the front edge, we're just gonna lightly add in these ropes. Just going up at an angle, starting from the left, going out towards the right. I'm just gonna go back and clean up our drawing one final time before we add more detail and shading. Now I wanna go back and start adding some more contrast. So we'll start back at the eyes. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of a fur textured edge along the outside of the eye. So just adding these little lines going up and then smoothing that out toward the inside. We'll just trace out the eyelid and then we're just going to darken up that patch around the eyes. Now I want to go a little bit darker along the top to create a bit of a shadow and then fade that down. Just gonna lightly shade in the iris.
gonna move back up and just overlap those ropes on top of the edge of the hat. So these are gonna stick down a little bit lower. And I'll layer the hat in underneath. I just want to darken up the fur around the head and the body, going around the cape. I'm just going to blend that down toward the bottom. Add a light trim across the bottom edge of the cape. And we're just going to darken up the bottom side of the hat and then lightly fade that down. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of that bamboo texture across the hat. So I'm just going to bend this out towards the side. Just adding these short lines from top to bottom, and then from bottom to top. And we don't have to place this texture everywhere. Just want to give the impression. Just add a little bit of bamboo grain going across. Now let's use the side edge of our pencil and add some shadow coming down from the hat on top of the head. I'm just going to fade that down.
Now, as we get closer to the end, we're just gonna tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Poe from Kung Fu Panda 4. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. Make sure you smash that like button and leave your requests in the comments below. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.